Well, when you think of fuel consumers, these aren't the first folks that usually come to mind. And while they don't drive a lot, they do eat. And the price of this is tied to fuel, just like a lot of things out here on the farm. What's growing fastest on many family farms is concern. On a small farm, you're never going to come out greatly ahead on anything. Fuel is the latest frustration, and each one is adding up like every straw in a bale of hay. So heavy at some point, it takes a tractor to lift it. Come on, girls! How long has your family been on this farm? 80 years. That's a lot of generations. Five now. Mary Markham is heading up the Benton family farm. Her generation now in charge of operating it. They depend on the power of diesel to do it. If you're going to turn a field, plow a field, you got to have enough power to do that. Turning a field, they can do. Turning a profit is harder. They've done everything from goat yoga to kids camps to educational programs. But COVID put a kink in all of that, and now one look at gas prices, it's a kick in the uh, pants. It's going to have a chain effect on everything. Gary Brown is a farmer in Pendleton County. It'll affect the whole economy. So, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. The fuel to cut hay is raised, so feeding animals is more expensive, and that ratches up food prices like meat. All of it plows right into the thin margins of the farmer's budget. We've, we've always made it, but... It's just, it's just getting, it's, it's tiring, honestly. As farmers everywhere are wondering when that next straw they move is the last straw. So just coming off of COVID and the cost of fuel, some of these education programs that they run, they're going to have to go up a little bit for the first time in years. Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Yep, hi.